We are getting our first look at dozens of cats that were rescued from inside of Sullivan County home. Police received calls from concerned neighbors Wednesday afternoon. Now animal advocates say the hoarding case is a prime example of good intentions gone wrong. News 10's Lindsay Yates has more on the message shelter workers have for area pet owners. They sound and even look cute. Kitten season is underway, but the warmer weather is already creating problems for area shelters. We usually triple um, in the amount of cats and kittens we have, and so it's, you know, it's just a really busy time for us. These cages at the Sullivan County Humane Society just days ago sat empty, but now are filled. So we have reached max capacity. On Wednesday, the shelter rescued 21 cats from a hoarding situation. Though found in unsanitary conditions, they appear to be healthy and friendly. They took on some cats. It got out of hand. Um, it's very unfortunate, but we will be rehoming all of the cats. On top of that, the shelter also took in an additional 15 cats yesterday afternoon, creating an unexpected financial burden. You can start with just one, you know, cat and she can get pregnant and then it just creates an endless amount of animals. I mean, it doesn't stop, so please be a neuter. But until then, the Humane Society steps in, and now they are in desperate need of help from the community. We do reach out to the public and ask for, you know, any kind of donations, especially in this type of situation. We would be very grateful. Because they are hoping to give these animals a second chance at a loving home. In Sullivan County, with Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta, Lindsay Yates, News 10. The shelter is in need of cat litter and food. Monetary donations are also appreciated.